first and foremost give thanks to the GFA, the Executive uh, Council for coming together and then uh, deciding on appointing me as the coach for the Black Princesses that is under 20. However, um, I think that uh, there is a lot of work to be done because the crop of players that went to the Costa Rica World Cup will soon not have all of them here. So transitionally, we have to bring on board uh, the, uh, the maidens players. And because they didn't play uh, the World Cup, you know, we could not just pick um, most of them so far as uh, playing a high level competition is concerned. However, we depended on the, um, the database given as by the, the technical head of the Black Medis. And then also I went around to scout for players during the league matches and uh, bringing the potentials together. So looking at um, the task ahead, we have very limited time. And already we have some household names. Fortunately, we have some household names in the team that is under 20, and also uh, very good potentials in the under 17. Immediately, we are going to blend them together to raise a formidable team, especially now that we are hosting. We need to do all that we can to impress Ghanaians, to live up to expectations. So this one, I don't even need the FA to give me a target. I know what it takes to, I mean, get up there. And for that matter, I have already discussed with the technical team to let us all work assiduously in order to achieve our set target. And for that matter, um, looking at the first batch and the second batch, we've gotten quite a number of good players, objectively. And, uh, will be raising a very good team for the Wafo tournament. Already, if you look at those coming from the under-17, it will not be too difficult. But those in the under-20, we have some who are 20 this year. That is the 2003. I have decided that I wouldn't need them because um, if you add them or you use them for this particular tournament, it means that we are going to start all over again after the tournament for the World Cup qualifier. Meanwhile, we have equally good players who can fit into their, uh, uh, their categories or maybe their, uh, their positions. And for that matter, I have discarded the 2003 and then started from 2004, 5 and probably 6 so that we can raise uh, a long-term uh, team, standing team, instead of um, after the tournament, now we are going to raise a team again and I don't think it is the best. So this is how we are, we are working. Well, indeed, if you want to perform, even if Ghanaians are not expected, you should put pressure on And I enjoy working under pressure. So for me, um, I think that that is even very good. Because one, we will think of not disappointing Ghanaians, we think of living up to expectations, so that's why initially I said, I have set target for myself. Even without FA telling me, this is your target. I have already set the target since we were tasked to uh, host the, the tournament. So that I'll work by that. And that is what is going to edge me on to work very hard. So for that one, yes, uh, pressure is part of the game. However, uh, that pressure will not overcome what I'm supposed to do. I will use it as a guide to work towards achieving our uh, target. This time round, I will say that all the countries are doing well. You can't underrate or underestimate any country. So, uh, in as much as we all know Ghanaians, we have the talent, there's more to it than that. For me, I don't look at it from that angle. I look at it from players with character, players with insight, so that with them you can achieve. If you look at their, some, their, excuse me to say, they are training horses. You see them are training, they are perfect. 
will use them at tension matches or crucial matches, they will disappoint you. So for me, I am looking at it from that angle. That is where you can get the best out of the best. So I think that uh, that is how we are going to structure our team. Players with character, with insight. We look at their insight and we look at the character that they have in them. Mental fortitude. Because you need to withstand every pressure that is coming on you. Because when they come here, we are also going to put pressure on them because we need the results. We are not going to relax at all. So I think that uh, the World Cup qualifiers, Black princesses, after thinking of uh, going past the group stage, you have to think of qualifying for the World Cup itself. Without that, you can't even get to the qualifying stages or the going past the, um, the group stages. And for that matter, uh, we need to put our structure such that, or plan our program such that, we will be able to uh, qualify for the World Cup. Then we look at what it takes to go past the group stages. So these are um, things that we are going to put together in order to get there.